What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about backwards compatibility. So we're going to be talking about both Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 having backwards compatibility with their previous generations. So backwards compatibility with PlayStation 4 and backwards compatibility with Xbox One and on the Xbox side, Xbox One, Xbox 360 and original Xbox games. So we recently got new information about backwards compatibility on both these systems. We knew that the Xbox Series X is going to be backwards compatible with all Xbox One, Xbox 360 games that are currently backwards compatible. It doesn't mean all 360 games will be backwards compatible, but every game that works currently on the Xbox One will run on the Xbox Series X. Now on the PlayStation side, they are having backwards compatibility on the PlayStation 5 with PlayStation 4 games. So in PlayStation's announcement for their PlayStation 5 where they unveiled the hardware technical specifications, they said uh, in their article on their PlayStation blog, they said, Lastly, we're excited to confirm that the backwards compatibility features are working well. We recently took a look at the top 100 PlayStation 4 titles as ranked by Playtime, and we're expecting almost all of them to be playable at launch on PlayStation 5. With more than 4,000 games published on PS4, we will continue the testing process and expand backwards compatibility coverage over time. So this means that not every PlayStation 4 game will be playable at launch on PlayStation 5. So this led some to believe that it won't actually be like natively backwards compatible, it might be emulation, but Sony did talk about this in their conference. They said on the PlayStation 5, they will have native mode, they'll have PS4 Pro legacy mode and PS4 legacy mode. So it will be able to run all these different versions of PlayStation 4 games their best. So if a game has a PlayStation 4 Pro patch, you'll be able to play that on your PlayStation 5, or you can play the PlayStation 4 patch version of the game. So. They're having different modes to basically enable you to play the games in their best way because as we've even seen with the PlayStation 4 Pro, it has a boost mode. And the reason they have that is because not all games will just immediately work with this new hardware, even on, from PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5. Some games might have issues playing on this new upgraded hardware. So to combat that, what Sony did with the PlayStation 4 Pro is they had a boost mode. So you could either turn that on or off. So if you had an issue with the game, you could turn boost mode off and play it identically to how it would be on a PlayStation 4. So that same sort of thing is coming over to the PlayStation 5. So PlayStation 4 games are going to be backwards compatible. They're going to work natively, but they're also going to have like these different modes to ensure that they have the most compatibility. But they did say that only 100 titles will be ready for launch, but then just barely we received an update on that. Sony confirmed an update saying, a quick update on backwards compatibility. With all the amazing games in PS4's catalog, we have devoted significant efforts to enable our fans to play their favorites on PS5. We believe that the overwhelming majority of the 4,000 plus PS4 titles will be playable on PS5. We are expecting backwards compatible titles will run at a boosted frequency on PS5 so that they can benefit from higher or more stable frame rates and potentially higher resolutions. Currently evaluating games on a title by title basis to spot any issues that need adjustment from the original software developers. In his presentation, Mark Sony provided a snapshot into the top 100 most played PS4 games, demonstrating how well our backward compatibility efforts are going. We've already tested hundreds of titles and are preparing to test thousands more as we move toward launch. We will provide updates on backwards compatibility along with much more PS5 news in the months ahead. Stay tuned. So there's a couple things we can pick out from that. One of them is that they say that the overwhelming majority of the 4,000 plus PS4 titles will be playable on PS5. So it doesn't say every PS4 title will be available on PS5. I'm sure there's some titles that probably won't work on there because of different like hardware limitations. Maybe stuff like Rock Band or even maybe PlayStation VR games might not work on there. Stuff like that. But it could also mean some games that just run on PS4 without any of these additional hardware things just might not run on a PS5. It might just have too many issues so it can't run but that seems like it's gonna be a really, really rare case. So they say that they're gonna have the top 100 games backwards compatible on the PS5, but they're probably gonna have more, and it's probably gonna be similar to how Xbox does things, how they release a bunch of games at a time. So Xbox would release like 10, 20 Xbox 360 games that are backwards compatible and be like, hey, you can now play these games on your Xbox One. Or in this case, Sony will be like, hey, you can now play 20 more PlayStation 4 games on your PS5. And it's a good thing that it's the top 100 because this basically means that most likely your favorite games on the PlayStation 4 will be available on your PlayStation 5. So some of those like kind of obscure games that you might not have a lot of people playing most likely won't be backwards compatible right off the bat, but it seems that in time they will be working to have every PlayStation 4 game available on the PlayStation 5. So now let's talk about Xbox side of things and how backwards compatibility on the Xbox Series X is going to work. So we know that for over like the last year, Xbox has stopped making original Xbox games and Xbox 360 games backwards compatible on the Xbox One. Instead, what they've been focusing on that team 
is now making sure that every game they have working on the Xbox One will now work on the Series X. They've basically been f changing their focus to making sure that everything will be working on the Xbox Series X. So there's even been rumors that they are also still working on 360 and original Xbox games to have come out for launch. So when the Xbox Series X comes out, there will be even more games that will be backwards compatible that previously weren't. But Xbox also put out an update about how their backwards compatibility works on Twitter. Somebody asked him, when you say all games are backwards compatible for the Xbox Series X, does that mean every Xbox game ever made or just the ones that are currently backwards compatible? And Xbox responded, they said, Correction, to date we've spent over 100,000 hours testing your favorite games from Xbox One, including existing backwards compatible 360 and OG Xbox games on Xbox Series X. While we are still in the process of validating, we can confirm that thousands of games will be playable at launch. So it seems that Microsoft is in the same boat as Sony, that they're in the process of validating these games to make sure that they will work on this new architecture, on this new system. So it seems that maybe not every single game that can currently play on Xbox One, including backwards compatible games from previous generations, will work on the Series X right off the bat. I'm sure pretty much every game will run on these new systems, but it's probably just a case of playing these games to ensure that some of these outliers that might have issues are fixed before launch. It's a difficult task to test thousands of games on this new hardware to ensure that every section of the game all runs well on these new systems. And if a game doesn't run well, to get it fixed and changed and make sure that it does run well on these new systems. So at launch, the Xbox Series X, like they say here, will have thousands of games playable at launch, whether that's Xbox One games, Xbox 360, or original Xbox games. And then if you compare that to PlayStation 5, they say they'll have the top 100 PlayStation 4 games. So it seems that Xbox Series X will be better uh, for existing Xbox One owners. They can immediately just hop into an Xbox Series X and pretty much play their exact same games library. Whereas PlayStation 4 owners might not be able to do the same. They might have games that won't be validated by that time to work on the PlayStation 5. But these consoles are supposed to come out end of this year, so they still have many more months to get games working. So it seems that Sony might be able to have way more than 100 games available at launch. And hopefully by then, Xbox can also get every game currently playable on Xbox One also on the Xbox Series X. But people even made comments about whether or not Xbox will make more Xbox 360 and original Xbox games backwards compatible. One person on Twitter responded to this saying that the original Xbox deserves more love than just 40 games. So it seems like this is a given that they'll continue to make games backwards compatible after the Xbox Series X comes out, but we don't know that for sure. I would hope that that team, as soon as they get all these games validated, then they're gonna go back to work about making original Xbox and Xbox 360 games backwards compatible so that eventually you'll be able to play every single Xbox game on your Xbox Series X, whether that's original Xbox, Xbox 360, or Xbox One. Hopefully we get to that point where there is not a single game for any Xbox generation that will not be playable on the Xbox Series X. Hopefully every single game will be playable, and hopefully we also get that same with the PlayStation 5, that every PlayStation 4 game will be playable on the PS5, and also hopefully, this hasn't been confirmed, this is just rumor at this point, hopefully Sony can figure out backwards compatibility for PlayStation 3, 2, and 1 to be able to play every PlayStation generation on your PS5. Hopefully we get to that point, but until then, we're just gonna be having a couple PlayStation 4 games, the top 100 games, and then also thousands of Xbox games on there as well. So that's just a quick update on backwards compatibility for these new systems. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.